You can't see it, but it's really swollen, no? Yes. No? Now it stops. Okay. Oh. I can prescribe what is that, no? Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting my turn. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing now to this? Young Mandra Sahit at the Hasan Gitmehi, Unka Nagan, this month, 
Deep breathing. Duri Krita Sita Tihi. Prakati Krita Ram Vai Vai medicine some vein pills because the veins are already get damaged this will clean the veins in the body so there's no 
No, a chance for a kind of emboli. Yes, this was one leg. How do you feel? Feels pretty good now. Yeah. Liberated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Change. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Bumps. Oh, this is from yesterday. You see my leg. Yes. Breathing. Yes. Hold it good, yeah, don't let the stone will break into pieces in this one yeah. Because this, this is marble, no, it's not ready. Come closer to me. Look what you said. Like professional guy. Even with this, people say, ah, you need turmeric or something. Uh, there is a special herb prescription for this kind of training to treat this bone and have all this kind of blood stagnases and injuries wash away. Turmeric is good, you can edit this, but it doesn't help only. There are more components need to apply. And good, very nice. Ah, yeah, right, huh? If you check, you look, look, touch by yourself. It's better, no? Yeah, it's flat. Like before, you should yes. take the photo yeah. before and after. It's good. Yeah, the last one. Better, no? Better. Yeah, so, and because he do athletics and calisthenics, the lower part is very developed from jumping. And I also kick the back, so it's good. mostly it's from jumping because yeah, because the vibration from the jump yeah. and the earth, so run yeah, it it has effect to the bone structure. Yeah. So the vibration, vibration goes here through and the, the, bone, the bone becomes much more stronger. This is a good one. Huh?
So you still hair is growing, yeah? This yeah. means it's healthy skin. Mm -hmm. Not dead skin. Yeah, this is the most important. Yeah. yeah. I try to do the pumping now. I pump the oh. You can see here the thickness of the skin, I can't really I can't even grab it. It's so thick. And if you compare to mine, you can see here. Probably pretty well. Oh. Very, very thin. Okay. Now you grab. Yeah. Can't grab at all. And the same. Yeah, can. Yeah. And the same for this. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. It's still thick. It's still a little bit thick. Yeah. Yeah. But, but here, <laughs> here is. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is it. And the most important. Look, my fingernails. No. Yeah. Clean and neat. <laughs> yeah. No cripple. Yeah. Yeah. The, everything. Works. Yeah. That was a huge okay. surprise for me. I thought that he would not have the full function like in the fingers but it's like perfect yeah. and okay. the wrist too right there. I can play piano yeah yeah the wrist also you see I can do like that okay it's like this yeah so when we were doing this trail we were like this this and this and here so it's hard to understand or see it you know from the camera but this arm is like it it's different than you know if, if I were to hit somebody or some normal person like this is really really hard and it's like snaps like a lining into your arm so this is what I wanted to just bring out that when you have to really hard and tough into arms it's like a it's different it's, it's like a weapon <coughs> that you hit with yeah, so I can control what kind of element yeah yeah, yeah that's actually was very interesting that he can, how do you say, like uh, put different power behind it. He can either like sort of be the iron or the wood or the or the sand or, or the earth. Uh, earth, yeah, earth. So there's different elements of toughness that he can put, or even the water. So it can be very soft and not painful at all, and then completely relaxed. <laughs> he can also like break the arms or yes. Whew. What up guys? It's been a pretty crazy week. <laughs> Sorry if I look a little bit tired. That's because I am I literally feel a little bit beat up after everything that has happened, but it's actually very good. Uh, I think this has been like a life-changing experience. So, you know, first of all, I'm now in Taiwan. This is actually hotel in Taichung. We just came from Tainan, which is the city in the south uh, where we went because that's where the Monkey Kung Fu Master Yang Yu Shin lives and uh, Shan, sorry, I still don't know how to speak Chinese. But so the reason really why we came here was because we knew that there was a, this Kung Fu master here who is very, very unique among uh, martial artists in the world. And he specialized in the monkey Kung Fu. He's, he's actually originally from German, but he's been living here in Taiwan for over 20 years uh, for so long. Uh, that he's actually been the bodyguard for the president here, which is totally unheard of from someone uh, who comes from outside of Taiwan. But that's pretty much because he's so good at what he does. He's been also the instructor, uh, or he's a former instructor for the special, uh, special forces of the military here. And the thing is that the, like, the knowledge that he has, you know, uh, of the Kung Fu and everything, it's, not, it's something that you don't find, you don't find it from the internet, first of all. And you also don't find it pretty much like outside of Asia because this is knowledge that has been he's learned directly from the older masters that he has had like directly from there from the source something that has been like being carried on for centuries uh, this type of knowledge and we can we've been learning here actually like external and internal forms of Kung Fu and also traditional Chinese medicine which is very very interesting and though so the internal arts are basically Qigong type of training, uh, learning to take care of the body, it's sort of like a little meditation, breathing, uh, feel your G, the energy of the body, and then also the hardening exercise, which is like we harden the bone, the tendon and the muscles so we can you know, use them as weapons, like the, the arms and the legs. And then the Chinese medicine helps us to kind of heal the body. You know, in this, we have 
we sort of applied it now because we did hardening, hardening training so you need to apply a little bit of like medicine uh, to the dam because we cause a lot of damage in the training and then we massage but it's really it's hard to describe like in, in totally like everything has happened and this is why we, we were actually we were very lucky that we could film so much of the training he, he allowed us to film a lot of the stuff and so we can sh share it to you instead of trying to talk about what, what has happened here because it's been uh, intense and, and just so many different feelings emotions and th uh, thoughts uh, that has come come through this experience so in Taiwan and, and like China everyone knows this master by the name as I said like Jiang, Jiang Yu Shan right we, we call him usually Mia Samu like by the name Hisham because it's just so uh, Hisham it's it's much more you know easier and just comes faster but so but for Hisham it's it's he always like emphasizes the thing like the sort of balance between you know just not just like this sort of theory you know many martial artists are kind of in their own world like you know uh, but but he really emphasized the, the application as well like it needs to work in real life situation and for example this is why he's been teaching the special forces because they want something they can actually use and something that works really so there's like a balance between the sort of the theory and the, the wisdom and the sort of internal things and then that you can also apply it you know in, in actual fight because he's been fighting competitions too and this has been very important for him that it's not some kind of phony phony master thing and it's also you know one of the reasons why we kind of were drawn into his system and came here and so our week in China had come to an end we spent the last days in Taipei the capital city of Taiwan Meeting with Jiang Yushan was an invaluable experience and worth every teeth grinding moment we had. We gained new insight and hardened both our minds and bodies through internal and external Kung Fu. We realized we're capable of withstanding much more pressure than we previously thought possible. I want to thank everyone for following this adventure. We will keep breaking limits and continue our search for truth and strength. Stay strong everyone.